Carl. Coming to you from International Headquarters, Scotty D TV, but I was out of Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors. And you may recognize this 1968 Chevrolet C10 pickup truck from uh, a truck I shot at Birmingham. Um, when it left Birmingham, it went straight to Steve Holcomb's and uh, he had the interior done by Steve, and so I wanted to show a video of that. It's going straight out of Steve Holcomb and going to be up at the Pigeon Forge Rod Run for the Scotty D TV Dirty Dozen 2021. So you get a chance to see it twice and three times if you can make the show. But anyways, let me get the camera turned around. Let's take a look at what uh, Steve did to it. Steve, that truck looks familiar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just shot it, didn't you? I did. Oh, I okay. shot it when they debuted it in uh, Birmingham. Mike George's uh, 68 C10 pickup truck. Yeah, you shot it. And from what I understand, you, you told him to come and get some interior. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> didn't quite go that way. But yeah, he came to me and said that uh, he wanted to, That's right. wanted yeah. to see if uh, you could make a seat for him yeah and uh because he, he you know he was in a rush he didn't have time to get a uh, professional to do the interior he wanted to get the truck out boy after he showed it one time then yeah he came to me and expressed interest in having a whole of interior <laughs> there you go so we did what we could yeah and uh man tell me what y'all did to it well it's a little different we took the bench seat it had no bench seat in it that uh just just a bench seat i mean right. just an old bench seat and then we took all that stuff out and made a custom seat two bucket seats console in the middle made the um, baseboard for the seat set on to set up a little bit and it's got amp and speakers and things underneath there and put him a stereo system in it um, changed out the door handles and completely redone the carpet the, the the seat area and the console it was one of them usually we do the headliner door panels and everything but this and it was already had it painted the that reddish right. burgundy color and he wanted to leave out just change the armrests and the doors and uh and you know a few little things in there and armrest and um, changed some buttons out had some weird screws in it we made all the screws match and and all that stuff so it, it turned out pretty good like i said i i'm used to doing everything but right. we just did the seat well, but it that, looks good i mean it looks really cool right me. and that, that, to add to it right not only did he come to me and say scotty can steve do my interior and can he get it done by the dirty dozen I only want him to do part of it. Yeah. And I was like, Steve doesn't do parts. I was like, you have to take it and just let him do it. But you're right, he had already finished out a lot of work in that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. And so this is a combination of what the truck had before and what you added to it. It made a world of difference. I oh, know yeah, what yeah, we did. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. night and day difference. So, uh, yeah, I believe it's going to turn out really sharp uh, out there in the show. show circuit It'll do stuff. well out there for yeah, sure. And I good. like that it's a bucket seat, but if you look at it, it kind of still looks like a bench seat. Too, yeah, yeah. You know? We try to incorporate the whole thing where everything, like I said, everything's custom made. So... It's all fitted in there to where it looks like, like you said, it's one bench seat, but it's right. got a console coming down the middle of it. And it's got the air ride. You can lift up the center console. It's got the air ride stuff in there, a couple of cup holders, and got a huge TV screen up there. Right, so we right. went ahead and found the biggest one we could find that, that would uh, look cool with the truck. And uh, it's... It's got the Bluetooth and navigation and all that stuff. Everything but a CD player. It's almost as wide as a console. <laughs> it is as wide as a console, yeah. And now would you put some diamond pleat in it? Yeah, we wanted to, it's a later model type of diamond pleat. We actually double stitched the diamond pleat to match the little pleats on the doors. If you notice, since they used the original door, they had like a small pleat in the doors. So at the end of the diamonds, it rolls up into a double small pleat on the seats it'll match your doors up so wow, how cool is that yeah. in the details right oh yeah tried to figure you know since we wouldn't do anything to the doors we needed to incorporate something that would match the door to the seat and stuff right because we wanted it all to look like it was planned that way sure enough so. it does it looks mm -hmm. like i said and the thing is is that what i thought was cool was that in a pickup truck a bench seat isn't always a bad thing but you got you like bucket seats but they got kind of the best world because it looks yeah. like a bench kind of but yet it is buckets independent seating of each other and then you used uh, a stitching to match the maroon color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we put a burgundy stitch in the outside French seam on the truck to blend it in with the burgundy that he already had painted on the truck. So it, we tied it all in together, made it work, made right. it fit. I think it looked really good. No, I think it turned out well, too. Brother, another one out of the park. Scotty, I appreciate it, buddy. So there you go from Steve Holcomb, Pro Auto Custom Interiors, a 1968 C10 pickup truck. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya!
Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.